FlexPen is the latest insulin delivery technology available from Novo Nordisk. FlexPen comes pre-filled with a range of insulin options and you can inject the insulin by pressing a button. Pens and packaging are color branded for insulin identification. FlexPen also has the same copay as vial and syringe on most managed care plans. FlexPen, insulin delivery that's going places, just like you, in a restaurant, at work, even at home. FlexPen follows. Before you start to prepare your injection, make sure you have the correct insulin brand FlexPen, a Novo Fine needle, and an alcohol swab. Check the label to make sure that you are taking the right type of insulin. This is especially important if you take more than one type of insulin. Levomir and Novolog should both look clear. Novolog Mix 7030 should look cloudy after mixing. Remember, FlexPen is designed and intended for single patient use only, and it is important that you use a new needle for every injection. Blind or severely visually impaired patients should not use FlexPen without the help of a person with good eyesight trained in proper FlexPen use. Please select an insulin for your FlexPen demonstration. There are eight key parts of Levomir Flex Pen. The pen cap, latex-free rubber stopper, cartridge scale, color-branded cartridge, dose indicator window, pointer, dose selector, and push button. First, wash your hands with soap and water. Then pull off the pen cap and wipe the rubber stopper with an alcohol swab. The next step is to attach the needle. To do so, you must first remove the protective tab from the disposable needle. Then screw the needle tightly onto your Levomir Flex Pen. It is important that the needle is put on straight. Never place a disposable needle on your Levomir Flex Pen until you are ready to take your injection. Pull off the big outer needle cap, then pull off the inner needle cap and throw it away. Before each injection, small amounts of air may collect in the cartridge during normal use. To avoid injecting air and to ensure proper dosing, perform an air shot. To do so, first turn the dose selector to select two units. Then hold your Levomir Flex Pen with the needle pointing up. Tap the cartridge gently with your finger a few times to make any air bubbles collect at the top of the cartridge. Keep the needle pointing upwards and press the push button all the way in. The dose selector will then return to zero. A drop of insulin should appear at the needle tip. If not, Change the needle and repeat the procedure no more than six times. If you do not see a drop of insulin after six times, do not use the Levomir Flex Pen. Check and make sure that the dose selector is set at zero. Turn the dose selector to the number of units you need to inject. The pointer should line up with your dose. The dose can be corrected either up or down by turning the dose selector in either direction until the correct dose lines up with the pointer. When turning the dose selector, be careful not to press the push button as this will cause insulin to come out. You cannot select a dose larger than the number of units left in the cartridge. You will hear a click for every single unit dialed. However, do not set the dose by counting the number of clicks you hear. Do the injection exactly as shown to you by your healthcare provider. Your healthcare provider should tell you if you need to pinch the skin before injecting. Insert the needle into your skin. Inject the dose by pressing the push button all the way in until the zero lines up with the pointer. Be careful only to push the button when injecting. Turning the dose selector will not inject insulin. Keep the needle in the skin for at least six seconds and keep the push button pressed all the way in until the needle has been pulled out from the skin. This will make sure that the full dose has been given. You may see a drop of Levomir at the needle tip 
or on the skin. This is normal and has no effect on the dose you just received. If blood appears after you take the needle out of your skin, press the injection site lightly with a finger. Do not rub the area. Do not recap the needle. Recapping can lead to a needle stick injury. Remove the needle from the Levomir Flex Pen after each injection and throw it away as instructed by your healthcare provider. This helps to prevent infection and leakage of insulin and will help to make sure you inject the right dose of insulin. Put the pen cap on Levomir Flex Pen and store without the needle attached. After watching this video, please have your nurse review and have you demonstrate back the proper technique to use so that you can successfully administer the insulin yourself.